parents of a WA teenager electro electrocuted just two days into an apprenticeship are pushing for law changes to make sure other young lives are protected. Jaden Zappelli was 18 when he was killed. His family now taking on his employer and the government. Yeah, lots of, lots of memories and... Yep. This is Jaden Zappelli's bedroom, untouched for three years. We have everything of Jaden. It's all here, except him. Jaden was 18 when he died on just the second day in the job as an apprentice electrician. Time hasn't helped his parents, who can't move on from their son's death. All I ever wanted to be was a mum. And I'm still a mum, but on the inside I'm battered and bruised. I want to bring him back for 10 before I... I'd give up my own life in a heartbeat to put him back here. It was 2013 when Tamara and Greg Sapelli lost their son. He just started his apprenticeship with JCW Electrical when he was electrocuted while working in the roof space of an East Bunbury home. An investigation found electricity in the home wasn't disconnected before work began. The company and Jaden's supervisor were fined around $45,000. Human error cost Jaden his life. You know, he, was, he, wasn't, he needed people to look after him. We do see cases like this. Um, it's not uncommon. They're becoming more and more common, I think, as the workplaces are getting busier and there's a bigger rush on people to get a job done. Jaden's parents are fighting for changes to laws, hoping to prevent another tragedy among WA's 4,018 electrical apprentices. The couple has mounted a fierce push to fit all homes with RCDs or safety switches that cuts power within a fraction of a second if something goes wrong. At the moment, only new homes, those being sold off and rentals, require the safety device. The East Bunbury home Jaden was working in didn't have one. His family is convinced it could have saved his life. What I'd like to say to people is, you know, I'm trying to push the government to, to make this change. But don't wait for that to happen. Just get it, get them into your home. They Keep, save lives. They save lives. Not just lives, but emotional trauma. So far, the Zappellis have spent more than $20,000 in counselling, trying to come to terms with their loss. Now they're fighting for compensation from Jaden's former employer. We will be claiming compensation on their behalf as a result of suffering nervous shock. Um, nervous shock being a psychiatric response to hearing the news and having to deal with the aftermath of Jaden's death. JCW Electrical wouldn't comment on the legal claim, but has backed the Sapelli's push for compulsory safety switches. For parents and young workers, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry says employees should be asking questions. Do you have the correct supervision? Have you had proper training? Do you have permission to perform certain tasks? And have you carried out risk assessments? For the Zappellis, it's too late. All they can do is warn others. We've lost our son. Our life is not the same. We don't operate the same as people. Tracy Vo, Nine News.